We already know 2020 is the 30th anniversary of the Air Max 90. And to be quite frank, I think the best one has absolutely nothing to do with any of the OGs that are, you know, kind of re-released this year. And that's nothing personal against any of the Air Max 90s already out, but I don't think any of them are topping this one. I'm just being serious. talks with tj aka tj2 Sue's chains thank you guys again so much for tuning in uh if you are brand new go ahead hit the subscribe button possibly even the like button it certainly helps out all creators and my two Sue's crew thank you guys again so much for tuning in make sure you comment below because i certainly want to know your thoughts on this sneaker now i am not what i would say like the connoisseur of air max okay we know that the air max one especially the og red and white that's my favorite sneaker and silhouette of all time closely followed by the grail i finally got this year and that is the anniversary obsidian but if you want like all of the news and, and everything related to air max just go check out co now 23 you guys already know he's an amazing friend of mine love him uh truly he enables me when it comes to sneaker pickups i do the same for him and also shout out to his recent engagement so happy for you and alex and you know, I blame him for this sneaker. I really, really do. So um, if you all don't know, the Air Max 90 Gold Trail Vibes released overseas already. It should have released in the States, but that still has yet to happen. So sorry, don't look for any like stateside uh, retailers to have this. You will have to go either on eBay or GOAT or StockX or any number of places to pick up this sneaker, just so you're aware, because I know someone will say, well, hey, where can I pick this up? Yeah, don't try states. Like it's not gonna be in any of your local stores. And that's the unfortunate part, but we kind of have to just pivot with the times and everything going on releases being pushed back or just simply not actually surfacing in the United States. But now already did a full breakdown review on foot and gave his thoughts on the sneaker. And he said, it's, you know, as soon as he got them in, he goes, you need this, you need this sneaker. And if you haven't figured it out already by now, uh, I'm heavily influenced by my close friends because I trust their taste, I trust their style. And he wasn't wrong. So thank you now for this. Now these just arrived. And again, I wanted to give you my first thoughts and you guys already got to see unboxing and B-roll. Well, more so just B-roll of the shoe in itself. And your eyes were not playing tricks on you. There's 3M on this sneaker. So let's just start off with how complex it is. So you take an Air Max 90 and then add in some ACG uh, inspiration, I would say. Outdoor vibes. That's exactly what it gives, gives me, at least. And I know that's what they were going for. So this shoe has a multitude of textures, colors, even the names, the actual name for the colors are, are pretty interesting in themselves, like Dream Green. I don't know that I would ever think of a shoe having a Dream Green uh, in the colorway for the description, but it does. So with the actual sneaker itself, you have a overlay of leather, but then there's mesh as well, um, a tiny bit of suede, and then the other accents. Now, what's really crazy is you have these loops that are randomly here and present on the sneaker. They don't serve a purpose outside of, you know, an aesthetic, 
but I think it definitely adds something to the sneaker in itself. And you have a full metallic vibe if you look on the medial side of the sneaker. And then on the lateral side, you certainly have that blue that pops out, which I really like. The fact that you have more of that tonal wheat shade, or as they like to call it, probably like a trail gold. And then the darker blue uh, makes these perfect for fall, as well as having like those bright crimson accents on the shoe as well. Now, the shoes in terms of being identical, yes, they are. So you won't have any variations. Um, just looking at the sneaker in itself, just I know some people are curious, like, hey, is it going to be kind of like a what the Air Max 90? No, it's not like that. Um, now, with the toe, you will have uh, a little bit of it is translucent, so just be aware of that. It won't be fully translucent, but you will be able to see through there, so please make sure you wear some clean socks or cool looking socks uh, with these shoes. But there is that mesh that is over the actual like more transparent overlay. And then the inside, so the sock liner is this bright purple, which I really, really love. It's a rich color. And then on the inside, you'll have more of that crimson or orange and sole and then it's actually got nike air and i believe that's supposed to be like a darker obsidian blue uh when you move through the other details i love the fact that more of this sail this this tannish color is on the actual accent for the iconic air bubble that we know the air max 94 and then with the swoosh so those will differ so on the inside here you'll have more of a textured i'm not sure if it's supposed to be teal don't quote me on the actual color that nike picked um to describe it and then it's more of like a plastic with the yellow with the orange stitching right so um if you get if you get off way vibes i get off way vibes too so absolutely nothing wrong there and then you have this toggle system for the laces arguably my favorite thing about the shoe i won't even joke just because it's different we don't normally see this so it will come with a lace toggle right here this is probably how i choose to wear them and then you have the tongue here and i make sure i give you guys a good showing of that in the b-roll as well but on the tongue you have a patch there and then there's actually an x that goes through it and says nike air max now what's awesome is you do get another lace option and i i wasn't lazy <laughs> i went ahead and did the lace swap for you just so you can get an idea of what it looks like so it's more of that dream green uh dream green i cannot talk today <laughs> dream green and it adds something certainly different a, a little bit of a dynamic to it so you know you guys can let me know certainly in the comment section what do you prefer do you prefer the white lace do you prefer the green one doesn't matter which one you'll still get the three m pop uh whenever you have a flash of light on the actual shoe so that's certainly we don't get that with an air max 90 so nike went all out i would say this is air max 90 of the year if we don't count the air max 90 infrared that's supposed to drop for the holidays i still haven't seen an update on that so i certainly hope they weren't joking around when they said hey we'll bring that back because i need that sneaker back for the years you guys know i'm putting money aside for three different pickups for the holiday season december 2020 but again if you want this sneaker you're gonna have to go on ebay go or even StockX. and i went on ebay i think the price may be a tad bit higher because i had to pay 169.99 plus tax but i got this in a timely manner i ordered it last week and it arrived within i believe five to seven days so i will pay a little bit more for the convenience of having the sneaker in my hand in a timely manner that being said, guys, please comment below again what you think about this shoe. I promise to give you a look at some of the outfits that I, I may pair with this. Um, with shoes that are doing a lot, you can choose to do a lot or do a little. I kind of have in my mind already, though, what I'll rock for these. Again, thank you now for the inspiration to pick this up. I blame you, so now I need to poorly influence you to go pick up a sneaker that I already have. As always, guys, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.